What's going on ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the channel. So update 7.2 is just around the corner and I have to say it's a shocking update in terms of what DICE is doing to the game because it's just too good to be true if I want to be honest with you. The changes in this update should have been applied like two years ago, literally two years ago. It's good that we finally get these things. It shows me some kind of progress inside of DICE because like it or not, they are finally understanding that Davil 2042 is just a lot faster in terms of gameplay than it needs to be. And they are working towards slowing that pace down. Unfortunately, it's a bit too late, I would say, because we're three years in the game. But I hope this won't be an issue for the next Battlefield game. And we've got at least 16 months of Battlefield 2042 ahead of us before the next Battlefield game comes out. So at least for the new players, I hope these changes would come in handy. Irish's APS Shootdown Sentinel has been nerfed, which is a specific nerf. It's not like a big deal, but it just kind of opens up the opportunity to, to kill those hell campers with vehicles. McKay has been nerfed. Attack Helicopters got a well-deserved nerf. Systematic Repair on some vehicles received a nerf as well. Uh, we've got the DFR Strife LMG and the XFAT4 Draugr uh, coming to the game with this update. For those of you who don't know, XFAT Draugr is a stealth bomber. DFR Strife is just an LMG. This is literally the last content of Battlefield 2042. We've also got a new game mode called Control Unlocked. I don't know about the details, but obviously it's some sort of control mode. It's a time-limited event, and by playing this event, you're going to be able to open both XFAT Draugr and the DFR Strife LMG. So before we get into the details, I just want you guys to know that liking the video is going to really help it to come up on top and be shown to other Battlefield players. And if you're not subscribed to the channel and you find the content helpful, why not hitting that subscribe button, right? So you can get the future content as well. With all that said, let's get right into the video. So starting off with the patch notes, uh, we're going to the new gear, the last content in Battlefield 2042, the X-Fat Draugr and the new LMG. New year means new ways to tackle the enemy. This May 14th, you'll be able to work towards unlocking the highly versatile DFR Strife LMG and the all-new cutting-edge remote-controlled aerial bomber, the XFAT4 Draugr. By the way, the update will be available on May 14th. I just forgot to say that, but yeah, uh, the patch note mentions it as well. In-game progression and natural play of control unlocked contributes towards the unlocking of the XFAT4 Draugr with 40 ribbons, and the DFR Strife LMG with 80 ribbons, allowing you to use these cutting-edge pieces of hardware across the battlefield. And if you guys are worrying about missing the special event, don't worry, later in-game assignments will let you unlock both XFAT Draugr and the new LMG. We will also have an all-new event that we only get a teaser for in this patch note, uh, and it goes like this. Under the global assault of the Thousand Petals Coalition, a new strike team has been tasked to capture and secure Archangel assets before they fall into the hands of the Coalition. We'll share full details with you as we get closer to the launch of this all-new event in the coming weeks. Expect new earnable cosmetics to acquire, and we look forward to seeing you outsmart the opposition. So yeah, that's all we get for this new event. Nobody knows what this is, but apparently it's coming out in the upcoming weeks. And if there's any more details about it, I'll definitely make a video about that and share it with you guys as well. So we've got some vehicle improvements and we're going to start with the attack helicopter. In the patch note, they say that they like where the attack helicopters are right now. They're okay with their position, but they are just too strong against the armored ground vehicles. And they are doing some changes to the attack helicopter uh, so that the ground vehicles, the armored ground vehicles, have some time to react against them. And this is one of the perfect changes uh, that we get with this update because the attack helicopters are just too strong against any, anything on the ground. They literally devour a tank in one single dive. And that is really not balanced at all. Because the tanks have, basically the tank has nothing to do against it. They're literally defenseless. Now let's take a look at the changes to the attack helicopter. We have lowered the damage of tow missile against heavy and medium armored vehicles. Such as tanks, wildcat and ram. We've also lowered the damage of anti-vehicle rocket pods to the same category of vehicles by 20%. We believe attack helicopters should still be potent in the direct counter to ground armor. However, these changes are aiming to give a bigger window for ground vehicles to react and to also push pilots to make more tactical decisions when attacking vehicles. So this is a perfect change. It was really a well-deserved nerf to the attack helicopter. Now let's go to the APS Shootdown Sentinel, Irish's active protection system. For those of you guys who are not familiar with the name. So it goes like this. 
We are aware of the long lasting issue of vehicles camping hills and it has become a bit of more exaggerated when Irish's APS shoot down sentinel is included into this equation. With update 7.2 we are removing the capabilities for this specialist gadget to shoot down any anti-vehicle weapon or gadget. This should allow air vehicles and infantry to once again attack such ground vehicles as well as pushing the gadget itself into a more infantry focused mentality. So that's also really good. I'm pretty sure you've seen those wildcat campers on the hills especially in maps like Orbital. They just go on a hill, surround themselves basically with the APS shoot down and nothing working against them. You can't hit them with a javelin, you can't hit them with anything because those APS shoot downs can intercept those rockets and that's it. But from now on, any anti-vehicle rocket or missile will not be intercepted by the APS shoot down sentinel and that is just another good change to the game. So McKay's nerf is kind of shifting the gadget towards a more strategic and defensive behavior rather than having it as an aggressive enabler offensively. So that says to do that, we are increasing the cooldown of the grapple from 11 seconds to 25 seconds. That's more than twice the time. And we are also lowering the boost of his trait nimble, which grants a boost movement speed while aiming down sights from 40% to 25%. So that's actually like a 45% loss, something like that. Nerf is huge to McKay. I have to be honest, the nerf is huge and it kind of disables McKay's ability to be a ninja. Like he is, he really was a ninja. Like 11 seconds for the cooldown of that grapple, he could just grapple anywhere he wanted. So that's not going to be the case anymore. Also, Nimble was really a strong trait and that is now nerfed as well. But that's not all. Additionally, in a future patch, we will be implementing a force reload animation when equipping the weapon to further emphasize the strategic use of the gadget. So what happens is every time you equip the grappling hook, a reload animation will be forced. Uh, so you can't like use it instantly after you're equipping it. And that's going to be in a future update. We don't have a specific date on that update, but we know that it is coming. Now let's move to the systematic repair. If you guys don't know, the systematic repair is one of the capabilities of vehicles that you can restore some of your HP with the press of a button. And it was really not balanced because that thing was just super strong. That is getting a nerf as well. Continuing with the effort to slow down the pace of the game, we are increasing the time it takes for the systematic repair system to repair the health of a vehicle. The rate at which this repair is defined by the role and class type of the vehicle in consideration with their gameplay expectations. All vehicles beside Bolt, Ram, the upcoming Draugr and all ground transport vehicles will repair 20 HP in 8.6 seconds up from 5 seconds. This change is meant to emphasize the role of engineers and help slow down the pace in these combat moments where before it was possible to nullify taken damage nearly instantaneously by pressing a single button. And yeah, that's really a problem. You could shoot a tank with a javelin, deal 45 damage and that dude would press a button, that 45 damage is gone. It was like a tank was hit by nothing. And now that's also getting a nerf. That was the overview of the update, but now let's take a look at the change log itself. So we've got an anti-tank mine damage rebalance. It has received a rebalance following recent updates. It will now take three anti-tank mines to fully destroy a heavy vehicle such as a tank or MAV. It will still remain possible to destroy medium armored vehicles such as the Wildcat and Ram with two anti-tank mines. Irish's APS shootdown sentinel should no longer stop underbarrel smoke grenades as well on top of the anti-vehicle projectiles. McKay's nimble trait, which improves the speed of movement during ADS, has been reduced from 40% to 25%. We talked about that. Grappling hook reload speed has now been increased from 11 seconds to 25 seconds. That's not reload speed, that's probably the cooldown. In a future update, we will be introducing a reload animation every time the specialist gadget is equipped. So for weapon balancing, there's really not much to talk about here. The changes aren't really as important. But we've got the AM4D a bit nerfed. Uh, the standard issue damage under 10 meters changed from 26 to 24. And dispersion and horizontal recoil increased by 5%. That horizontal recoil is really going to hurt that weapon. The VHX also got some little nerf there. Uh, the high power ammo damage under 20 meters changed from 25 to 24. That's just a little bit of nerf there. And the hip fire dispersion reset for P90, PP2000 and the AKS-74U has just slightly been slowed down and that was the important part of the weapon balancing section now let's move on to visual weapon recoil improvements now we've got further tweaks and improvements for the following weapons and scope combinations that's going to take a lot of time to read all the scopes honestly so i'm, gonna, I'm just going to read the weapon names and we're going to go through them one by one so pbx45 pp29 
P90, AK74U, and PP2000 will receive these visual recoil improvements on almost all of their scopes. The heavy side arms like M44, definitely the Desert Eagle, uh, will receive some improvements. The assault rifles AEK, VHX D3, G36, and MTAR21 will receive some improvements. For the LMGs, the ACOG and Bravo sites uh, will have improved radical points. That is also considered as a visual recoil improvement. So moving on, let's take a look at the changes to vehicles. Reduced range of attack helicopter thermal gunner from 600 meters to 450 meters. So that is another nerf to the attack helicopter. This one for the gunner. Lowered main heavy tanks steering sensitivity when the sprint button is held. Now this is a controversial change here because the tanks in 2042 already feel sluggish and slow. And lowering that sensitivity even more, I don't think that's an interesting thing to do. But anyway, Reviewing the systematic repair changes again, combat vehicles aside from bolts, ram, and the upcoming drawer will take 25 HP in 8.6 seconds. Other vehicles will remain at 25 HP in 5 seconds. And here's exactly how the tow launcher is nerfed. Lowered attack helicopter tow launcher damage to main heavy tanks from 30 to 25 and to medium armor such as Wildcat from 35 to 30. This is not a blanket change and will not impact other vehicles such as transport or air vehicles. The anti-vehicle pods on the helicopters will also deal 25% less impact damage and further blast damage reduction to the ground armor vehicles. So that's basically all the changes that this update provides. I really think the update is a rich one because the nerfs are completely thought about. There are so many things about this game that need changing and I do believe the updates will be coming but this update 7.2 uh, is going to contain Battlefield 2042 in terms of content and the XFAT Draugr and the new LMG are going to be the last content that Battlefield 2042 will ever receive. Maybe in some period of time they finally decide to let us play with all the portal weapons in the main game uh, but that's not going to be assumed content you know. So Battlefield 2042 is going to be completely without new content after update 7.2. So hope this video was helpful and hope you guys enjoyed. Go down in the comment section and let me know what you think about this new update. Anything that there is, is a nerf. Irish getting nerfed, McKay getting nerfed. We've got so many things here going on and I want to know what you guys think about it. Thank you all guys for watching and until next time, stay cool.